Hey guys, I am back with my weekly melts and I'm going to start with my candles. So the first one was the mason jar in Harvest Coffee. It was a nice clean burn. Um, it eventually, you know, drowned it itself. Um, I didn't get a throw with this one. I just, I mean, I have two three wicks and I hope they're not like that. <laughs> I hope they throw some scent. If you've melted this in a three wick, please let me know your thoughts. Um, I'll melt the first one, and if it doesn't have throw, I can always exchange it, but it just smells so good to me on cold. And this is a mason jar, so I wasn't expecting miracles. I was expecting a throw, but... And then this one, um, um, <laughs> it's so strong. I've lit it twice. It has a really great wax pool. It's super strong. My husband keeps on blowing it out, so that kind of pisses me off, but it's strong. I actually put this in my bathroom. That was a huge mistake because this was crazy strong. Even downstairs in an open concept area, it's strong. It's a really good scent. Um, like I said, you don't... Mm, I get the lemon. I get the mint leaf. The mint leaf, not mint the leaf itself, which has a minty scent, but also a green scent. Really love it. I think everyone should try it if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, I'm reviewing that now because I don't know when I'm going to melt it again because my husband literally keeps on blowing it out. From Rose Girls, Cup of Cakes, Whipped Cream, and Strawberry Jam. And this was like a bunch in a triple layer. Mm, this was really good. Um, I, it was four ounces. I cut half and put it in my 20-watt Glade Warmer in the kitchen and half in my 24-watt in my living room. And it went throughout my whole downstairs and kind of up the hallway stairs, or up the stairs. Yeah, up the stairs. Um, it was a nice, I think, I would say medium throw. Um, I loved it. You got the cup the cup of cake. You got the, even the whipped cream and the strawberry jam. It was really good. I have another one of these, but I'm going to repurchase that. I did one of my Peppermint Mocha Cafe tarts from candles from the keeping room it's good i enjoyed it um i think i went a little crazy when i ordered like the nine bags but um it is a good scent her coffee scents are kind of weird but they're good do my front porch first i guess apple mango do the tango super strong i dumped it i'm over the scent and there's not much here because i um I don't know, i've been busy i guess Cotton Candy Apple. This was such a great smell. However, the scent lasted. And I'm sorry for my nails. Um, yeah. The scent didn't last longer than three hours. And that sucks because I loved the smell of that. Watermelon Gumball from Rose Girls. This was a tester, and she wasn't going to add it to her product line. And on cold, I was super disappointed because it smelled so good, but warmed up. It was a light throw. It smelled awesome. I mean, the scent didn't change. It still smelled awesome, but it was a light throw. I would repurchase um, this again because I did like the scent, even though it was, you know, not super strong. Um, the only thing I think that I've showed you so far that I wouldn't, well, I don't have an option to purchase this, and this in the mason jar at least. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, everything else I would repurchase. I don't need to repurp, repurp, repurchase peppermint mocha because I have so much. Berry crumble, this was so strong, I dumped it. It's a crunch berry scent, but really, it's got a really nice berry to it. I'm not a fan of cereal scents. As you guys know, I don't really care for them unless they're blended. This was almost like it was blended because the berry was so delicious. But um, I've never had to turn anything off because of how strong it was. This is the first I've ever turned anything off. I did this in my kitchen in my Glade warmer. Um, and yeah, it was really strong. And it smelled good. Um, it's a scent I would enjoy once in a great while. I don't, like I said, I don't like cereal scents. But I did want to try it because I've never tried it. Um, sorry guys. Should have had these all out and ready. I'm probably missing some. Can I do anything else? I don't 
think I did. Okay, anyways. Sorry. So, banana nut from Waxy Lady. This was... Oh my gosh. This is the most authentic banana nut bread smell I have ever smelt in my entire life. Um, now, the problem with me is I tend to melt more in my living room. And it's a very open concept area. You know, my living room is connected to my dining room, which is connected to my kitchen. I got a throw, but it was um, light to medium. I would, however, buy these, uh, the tart she makes, and scatter them throughout the the three rooms because it is just that that damn good. It is legitimate, and I have not smelled that from any vendor. So I would definitely repurchase that in a different form. Coffee Lovers Unite. This was a really small tart, and I didn't get much from it, but it was a really good scent. I would purchase this in a larger quantity. Iced cinnamon rolls. Unfortunately, the bagging sucked the scent out. Um, everything that I have left in my Scarlet Rain, I'm going to have to get rid of because it literally sucked the scent out. So I got no, no scent from that. Very Perry. This was a smiley face and a flower. I did this in my 20 watt blade warmer in my kitchen and holy crap, that threw strong. It's a perfumey pear, but um, it was definitely good. I'm more into the um, the uh, fresh pear, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try another one from her with mixed with um, a campfire and I think that might be actually really good together. Okay, and then Fudge Brownie from Shea. Shea's a this smelled really good for the first three hours, and then it had a weird note. It definitely threw a medium throw. Um, I did this in my living room in my 24-watt. It just it smelled funny after three hours, so I dumped it, but it was a good scent for three hours. I would not purchase that. And then I think this is... Yeah, this is my last one. Um, can you see it? Ooey Gooey Caramel Apple from Starlet. OMG, this was fan freaking fantastic. This was phenomenal. It threw so strong. I did this in my living room in my 24 watt hot plate. The caramel fizzled before the apple scent, but it was just good. It lasted all day. I when she reopens, I'm definitely ordering this. Um, and mixing it with marshmallow, I think would be fantastic. So maybe a loaf. I don't know. That's how much I like that one. So that is it, and I will be back with my scent picks because I realize that when I do that, um, I tend to melt more, and I'm trying to make room for stuff, so definitely, definitely need to do those videos. Um, I think I'm going to fill my little box and try to melt through everything that I put in there, so yeah. So I'll be back, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.